Okay, one day, we're not really sure when, you're going to die, and so am I. Those are the facts of the matter. So where are you going to go when you die? To heaven or to hell? Or don't you believe in either of those two? After all, with a bit of luck, that day is a long, long, long way away, right? But what if it's not? What if it's much closer than we'd like to think? Then what? They tell us we should enjoy the moment, to live in the moment, enjoy the here and now. After all, today could be the last day. And I guess that to a point, sure, we should enjoy the moment. We should make the most out of today. But the real danger of that is that at some point, you get to believing that the here and now is all there is. And when you start believing that lie, you start investing everything you have, everything you are. Maybe invest is not such a good word. You start spending everything you have and everything you are to get the most out of your here and now. Luke chapter 12, verses 16 to 21. Then Jesus told them a parable. The land of a rich man produced abundantly. And he thought to himself, what should I do for I have no place to store my crops? Then he said, ah, I'll do this. I'll pull down all my barns and build larger ones, and there I'll store all my grain and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, you have ample goods laid up for many years. Relax, eat, drink, be merry. But God said to him, You fool, this is the very night your life is being demanded of you, and the things that you've prepared, whose will they be? So it is with those who store up for themselves treasures on the earth, but are not rich towards God. Now, there's a sobering perspective. It's not some fairy tale that I just made up. It's a parable that Jesus told to drive home the point that the here and now is not all there is. In fact, compared to eternity, your here and now is just a drop in the ocean. That parable was meant to give people who were listening a good shake, a wake-up call. Stop believing the devil's lie that your here and now is all that there is. You have a whole eternity ahead of you. And what you believe, what you do, how you live here and now is going to decide how you're going to spend that eternity. Jesus came to save you. Jesus came to set you free. Jesus came to give you an eternity in his presence. Putting your trust in him rather than in the here and now is the best investment that you will ever make. That's God's word fresh for you today.